Uh, sir, I can ask a small clarification question about the login that you were showing. Sure. So you said the uh, NFD log, debug, uh, and uh, info. Is it applied to all loggers because we have multiples or some specific ones? Because they, we don't have just the level, we are also enabling and disabling specific ones. That, that, yeah, that's a very, very good question. So um, this one, the way you set up here, this will apply to all. But you can, you can here, you can be more specific. You can, like I said, a log level for log. Sorry, log level for a specific. Uh, like if you want to uh, set a log for faces, then you can specify that here. So uh, you know the same way we do. Uh, we we kind of uh, you know enable the logs. We can do that here. So meaning that, as you, you know, yeah, basically it, that that's also supported. But if you don't specify any of those, then it will be debug for everything. Okay. Good. Yeah. But yes, that that is also supported. You can for a specific module, you can set some specific logs. That 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 thing also you can do from here. And there's also another question uh, on in the chat about can we install mini NDN in Raspberry Pi in order to deploy microservices in the container? I don't know if you want to answer this. Yeah, that's a very interesting. So if your Raspberry Pi has those requirements that I showed in the previous slide, let's say you know specific Ubuntu requirement with uh certain size of uh, ram size and then um, the cpu course then i believe it should be able to you should be able to run it i haven't tried it myself uh, but i i believe that it should be able to run it. you should be able to run it because we we, we don't have uh, uh you know i don't see anything that is stopping it to run in raspberry pi uh, sir just one question i think yeah. you mentioned the requirements for the number of ram number of cpu but uh, did you mention it with respect of how many nodes uh, you can simulate with those requirements? Um, yeah, that's a good question. So that's for the uh, so that configuration is usually supports a, a less number of nodes. So it's like a direct proportionality. Like if your system is more capable, then you can run more nodes. But we don't have a benchmark exactly uh, on you know how much how many nodes that it supports for that requirement that I have in the slides. But I have tried uh, like um, more than 20 nodes with that setup. And then that is, uh, so if you enable NLSR security and all those stuff, then it might be a little bit slow, but I have I have tried more, like I have tried, I think 37 nodes with that setup. And then uh, are you reducing the size of the caches as well for NFD because this kind of pre-allocated bunch of memory? Yeah, I mean, um, I didn't decrease anything. Um, I think when I, when I went from, 20 nodes to above, I think we, uh, yeah, that time I think I reached them to, uh, at the size of the cache. But yes, I, I would suggest that um, at least, you know, eight cores, four cores with eight uh, gigabytes of memory should be, um, should be very good to run like a decent size of topology, like Andean test with topology. And if you want to run like a more bigger topology, then obviously you need to have those configuration a little bit higher. Because yeah, this is like a, it's it's running at real instances of this uh, NFT and LSR, so um, the overhead will be there. Uh, so that's why we have to be a little bit careful based on our requirements. We might have to increase the sizes. One thing that you mentioned that you can add, so the phrase you use, like you can access something from the script. Does it mean like there is some kind of a Python API to access the information? No, you could just do you could you could just do this like you you type as I showed before like you have a host and then you do a command and then you run this thing and FTC like uh, but then you have to process yourself the uh, the output yes so that's one of the thing with mini Indian we 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 have to process all the output by ourselves we don't have a processing script mm. yes that is true. I guess it would be good to have some kind of a capabilities. Uh, to get the structured input. So for example, you not necessarily need to get this information using the command line. Uh, in theory, you can just send the interest. Yes. So yes. we could have like a small API just send interest and re kind of processes the uh, the return value and then kind of have some kind of structure access or do something, I think the in mini and mini net, <laughs> uh, there is a, ping, uh, built-in ping command, yes. so that doing the ping and then processes the output into some external structure that they can access. 
Uh, we can do that. I mean, this really depends on how people want to use the system. Right. So uh, that's that's a really interesting suggestion. I mean, uh, by doing that way, we can pipeline the experiments easily and then get collect the matrices like pretty easily. Uh, yes. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, we probably will look into that in the future, but uh, but right now it's not there. But yes, you uh, you can you can do that. That's that's a good good suggestion. Yes. So I have a question from Tianyan in chat. Mm -hmm. Will each mini Indian node has a separate keychain and accessible by Indian sec? Oh, that's a good question. I think you can have a separate keychain. I mean, to my understanding, it's just yeah. run in a completely different environment. Yeah, it's it's a completely different environment. You can have a separate keychain because your environment is like okay. Let's, by default, this is your environment. So you can have your keychain configured in your own environment. Um, so I think, yes, I haven't tried that. Uh, maybe I did once, but I forgot. Yeah, but you can have your, uh, this should be possible because this is your environment and you should be able, because as Alex said, it's a completely different uh, virtualized environment. So it should be possible. So, uh, and by that mean, it doesn't share the home folder or does it share? It, does not. So when uh, where is the home folder for each of the nodes? These are the home folders for each of the nodes. For A, this is a home folder. This is a home oh, folder. So then yeah. there is like a dot Indian folder in there. Yes. This, yes. This. Yes. He, it has a. It oh, has so so oh it yeah. Has this this answers your question. question. Yeah, yeah. This answers your question. It's it has a separate Indian folder. 